Trayvon Diggs, the Cowboys corner, is my choice through the first quarter of the season to be the NFL's defensive player of the year. Here he is against Mike Evans. Opening game of the season, Thursday night, September 9th, Mike Evans catches a 10-yard slam. But he drew the number one receiver in each of the first four weeks. It's by design. He's just that good. And so Mike Evans comes right there. He closes on it. Not a great throw by Brady, but he's right there on Evans. Each week when they're in man coverage, he's been traveling with the number one wide receiver in, in each situation. It's made the team better. Like, here he is right here, right in the grill of Mike Evans. All right? Gets his hands on him right here. He's in great shape. Now, right there, he almost had that interception. And it had everybody up on their toes, jumping up and down on the Dallas sideline. If he would have made that catch, the Cowboys would have won this game 29-28. However, they didn't. But here's his first interception of the season. As we all know, he's got at least one interception in each of the first four games. Now, he's got Mike Evans right there. And right here, Mike Evans goes inside. Immediately, Diggs' eyes go to the quarterback, Brady. He's clued him all the way. So when this ball was thrown to Leonard Fournette and it bounces off his fingertips, he's in great shape for his first interception of the season. Great play. Great play. And it would continue the following week when they visited the Los Angeles Chargers. Here he is up at the top against Keenan Allen. It's a great individual play. Man coverage. All right, playing man free. He's in the hip pocket of Keenan Allen. And right here, he looks back to Justin Herbert as he's covering Keenan Allen, the Chargers' best receiver. Jumps right in front of him to take that ball away. Got great hands. Great hands and great eyes. It's not just man-to-man coverage, though. Like, you've got to be able to see the whole field. So here he is on the receiver right now, and he jams him. All right? Change things up a little bit in their man coverage. Make it difficult. All right? Change the technique. Now, he's in zone coverage right here. All right? Here he is up at the top. And it's just a basic cover two scheme, but Austin Eckler is running the wheel route against the underneath defender, and he's right there to just crush him, put a big hit on him. He's more than just a a cover man. Now, here he is at the bottom, and it looks like he's got Jalen Guyton on the outside. It looks like they're banjoing this with the two receivers, with the slot defender right here. So, if Keenan Allen goes to the corner, he's going to carry him. But since the ball is thrown underneath the Guyton, he's got to come up and close. Very good tackler in the open field. All right, he's more than just a cover man. So, you get to Philly on a Monday night, and he got the Eagles' number one receiver, wherever he went. In this case, it's Devontae Smith, number six. All right, he's playing off the ball right here. Number three in the slot. That's his man. I mean, when you're man coverage and Devontae Smith wants to run basically a deep over route right here, he's in great shape. He sees the ball. That's the thing is he doesn't just lock in the receiver. He can see the quarterback, the ball, and the receiver. Allows him to make great plays on the ball. For example, when you watch this, there's Devontae Smith to the right, number six. You'll see him come into your picture here on this throw by Jalen Hurts. When he makes this break on the ball, right here, he's seen the flight of the ball, the release, and then to lay out with the right hand, the ball is perfectly thrown, to punch it out of Devontae Smith's hands. I mean, he's been a lockdown, shutdown corner, and a big part of the resurgence of this Dallas defense. Here he is at the bottom, all right? His own coverage, bam. There it is. Punch it out. He's already in the first four weeks of the season. Got an entire season's worth of stats. Like, here's the biggest play of the Cowboys season. Monday night, third quarter. All right? They're going to run this out route to Devontae Smith at the top. And really, you could just tell that he's already reading Jalen Hurts. He's already making a break on the ball. Jalen Hurts' shoulders is turned, and he jumps right in front, even if Devontae Smith didn't trip. I think he would have jumped the route, and he gets his third interception and a pick six in the first three weeks. Fantastic against the Eagles as they blow the Eagles out. So that leads to the undefeated Carolina Panthers came to town in week four. That's Robbie Anderson going in motion. All right, Anthony Brown runs with them. They're then going to run DJ Moore underneath on a drag route right here, and that's Trayvon Diggs' man right there. So he's got to come across the field. That's by design. You know, make it difficult in man coverage to be able to hang with D.J. Moore. All right? It's a good play by Carolina. Now, here he is at the bottom. All right? So, Robbie Anderson comes in motion right here 
on a fly sweep. All right, so come up, square up. Come up, square up, close the distance, and make the play in the open field on a fleet-footed Robbie Anderson. Great play. Loses the bucket. Somebody, please pick up the helmet for Trayvon, man. Help him out. Come on. Teammates, help the guy out. The guy's an unbelievable play. Now, here he is. Stack formation. They do this on purpose. That's DJ Moore, okay, behind. And that's Trayvon Diggs' man. All right, so when DJ Moore widens out, Trayvon widens out. It's just a double move, a little slant and go. But he doesn't go for the slant fake, and he gets himself in a perfect position right here. Close the distance. I don't know how many guys can actually just run by Trayvon Diggs. DJ Moore can fly, and he was with them step for step. So when you have a guy that can just flat out shut down your number one receiver, like here's Trayvon Diggs in the slot against DJ Moore. He had a great game against DJ Moore. He just threw the blanket on him. I mean, just riding him hard right here. They tried to go to him on that third and seven. Incomplete pass. I mean, he kind of took their number one receiver out. Here he is up at the top, all right, against D.J. Moore. All right, bootleg crossing route right there. Perfect play. I mean, in four games, he's got five interceptions, a touchdown. He's defended nine passes, solid tackler, and here's one of his interceptions against Carolina. It looks like it's a zone coverage. I can't really tell you what type of zone it is, but I'm not really sure exactly what they're doing. But he feels Robbie Anderson coming right behind him, number 11, and jumps right in front of that Sam Darnold pass. Takes it back 23 yards. Get to the sidelines, pick up a convoy, and see if you can get touchdown number two. And then his fifth interception of the season, straight man coverage. I mean, here he is just reading the route of DJ Moore. And if you look at his stance, cluing Sam Darnold all the way. It's a third down. It's third and five. They figure he's going to go to his best receiver, his number one target, and he jumps it. Now, he, the Diggs family will bobble a ball, but they won't drop a ball. Now, Stephon Diggs for the first quarter of the season, to me, there's been a lot of great defensive players. All right, guys that have some sacks, guys that had great individual games. He's been great in every game so far. The fact that he can line up on the number one wide receiver and limit them is a huge, huge part of the success and the growing success and the improvement of this Dallas defense.